Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to enable or disable Steam input and then restart the game. So make a right click on the game, go to properties and go to the controller tab. Now over here, you can select disable Steam input, now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, you can even try enable Steam input, launch the game and then check which one is working fine for you. Now the next step is to select the controller which you want to use restart steam and then start the game now for this you can type in usb game controllers in windows search box click on it and then over here select the controller which you want to use now for this go to advanced option over here and then you can if you want to select uh, use xbox you can select xbox or if you want to use dual sense you can select the controller whichever controller you want to use select it over here and then you can relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to <coughs> sorry go to device manager so make a right click on the start menu go to device manager and expand human interface devices here you can see human interface devices now if you find any controller which you are not using over here you can just make a right click and disable it and if you find like key chrome keyboard or maybe Huntsman V3 Pro keyboard in device manager, you can make a right click and disable it and then relaunch the game. Disconnect any kind of external mouse uh, or keyboard connected to the computer. If you have key Chrome or Huntsman V3 keyboard connected, disconnect it, disconnect the dongle of the keyboard and then you can check. Disconnect Razer Tartarus. If you have any flight simming hardware, you can unplug it from your computer, disconnect external devices like if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. If you have any kind of additional ex extra controller connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick, disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any virtual controller like Vijo, etc. running, you can or any kind of virtual joystick application installed, you can uninstall it or disable it and then you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to PlayStation controller user, enable it in sound control panel. Now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Go to hardware and sound and then click on sound. Now you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Make sure that you, you connect uh, your controller using the USB cable. You should It should detect your controller over here. Make a right click. If not enabled, you can enable it. In my case, it is already enabled. Then make a right click. Click on configure speakers. You can select quadraphonic over here. Next, put a check on far left and right and put a check on surround speaker. Make sure both are checked and then click on next. Click on finish. Now you can uh, launch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to use wired connection. So you, you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then launch the game. Next step is to control uh, PlayStation controller user. You can use DS4 Windows. Next step is to update controller using PlayStation or Xbox accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, you can open Microsoft Store and in the search box, you can type in Xbox accessories app over here and then click on Xbox accessories. Now install it and then launch it. Now you have to connect your controller using the USB cable. Make sure that you use the wired connection. Connect your controller using the cable, then it will detect your controller. Now click on these three dots, more options, and then you will see update option, update it. Click on continue and let the update complete. Once the update is installed over here, now you can relaunch the game and then change. Similarly, if you have PlayStation accessories app, like sorry, if you have PlayStation controller, you can install this PlayStation accessories app on your computer. Go to uh, PlayStation website, go to the official website. And then click on download for Windows and run this exe file and install it in your computer. In my case, PlayStation, PlayStation accessories app is already installed. Once you launch it, connect your controller. And once once the controller is connected, you will see update option if there is any update. In my case, it, it's already up to date. So if you see update option, update your controller and then you can launch the game. Launch Steam in big picture. This has also worked for many players. So 
it might work for you so you can go to steam uh, top right here you can see uh, big picture mode enter big picture mode icon click on it once the steam is in big picture mode now you can launch the game from here and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel